Rolex here, and my style's gonna reign, maintain. Cause my name, nothing you can do that. My rhymes are V12 when you the hot scooter. Veronica, for you I say a rhyme. My ill design, I'm the mic that rock mankind. And the line, I take MCs by the million, do them lovely. I pop MCs, you pop the bubbly, I'm proper. Guaranteed short shot rocker, circle NYC in the Mac helicopter. So call a doctor. Six style, holding notes like the opera. Dread me so much that you think I'm a roster. Imposter, eat your ass like lobster. Mac, you bad, and there's no one to stop you. So who got gotcha? you? I put them fleas in the skillet. Veronica's the baddest, so all you need to kill it. came to the attention of Ola Red Ant Records? Uh, wow, I would say it's a matter of good timing mm -hmm. and knowing the right people. <laughs> okay. I also noticed some of your album is in Spanish. Mm -hmm. How much of it is directed toward your Spanish-speaking audience as opposed to your American-speaking audience? Um, I would say even the Spanish cuts appeal to the English audience as well. Uh, being that I'm Puerto Rican, it's kind of new for somebody right. to come out doing R&B, but um, it's got something for everybody, so everybody check it out. Dig it. And what artists do you think paved the way for young artists such as yourself to become successful? Oh, wow. Mary J. Blige, Mariah Carey, Selena, rest in peace. Right. Those people. Oh, well, definitely. Basically, being a woman mm -hmm. influences my writing even more. Right. I write a lot about the experiences I've been through, certain relationships. That's right. what inspires me the most. Right. Now, one thing we were just talking about, which is funny, <laughs> is that you get nervous, like, in small settings like this, but you yes. perform. <laughs> on huge stages in front of like millions of people. How can that be? I don't know. I guess singing is just, that's my thing. That's where I feel comfortable, you know what I mean? That's my craft. And talking is like, oh God, I was just, I was just telling her, oh, I'm so nervous. I want to just hide my face. <laughs> <laughs> don't be at all. Okay, so tell me about Rise. The single off the album is called Rise, and so yep. is the album. And so is the album. The first single. Well, the single, um, I actually didn't write it. It was presented to me, and I loved it. I was like, this is the theme of my album. This is about my people, us being minorities. We got to rise up. There's so many opportunities out there for us, and we have to take advantage of them. It's a song of, of empowerment, I right. would say. And I wanted the album, the whole theme of the album, to be exactly just that. And the right. video, I wanted it to be very up-tempo, very energetic, to get everybody inspired as well. Lots as of the, party tunes on me. the album. Lots of party yeah. tunes on it. Do you find it more difficult when you have a song that you have to perform that was written by someone else? Um, not really. For actually, I didn't write Rise, right. like I was saying, that was presented to me, and it, right. was, it was just something that I was really feeling, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, one of, the, one of the songs off my album that I love to perform is Someone to Hold, and I wrote that, and when I sing it, it's like almost obvious that that's my baby, because right. it's glowing. like I go somewhere else, and it's like, it's just so me, right. you know what I mean? So I'm comfortable singing my, the stuff that I write right. a lot well, that's more. That's what being a performer is all about. Mm. Well, we're going to look out for your album. It's in stores right now. Thank you. Now. It's in stores right now. It's called Rise off of Ola Red Ant. So pick it up, everybody. It's right. got some good stuff. Veronica on Planet Groove, everyone. Stick around. We have more of your favorite videos coming to you. We're on location, out of the studios. Now we stay. are at BT Soundstage <laughs> Restaurant in Lago, Maryland. Stick around. Yo, peace once again. I'm chilling here. Tag Mello in the hood video. Got Veronica right here. Sorry, Got my buddy. man on the opposite left. What's up, Steve? This show again. You remember? What's the name of your Indecent show? Indecent exposure. Indecent exposure. There you go. You're on the opposite left doing your thing. Now, Veronica, where the chow chow at? Oh, you know I have yeah, a chow. Yeah, you know I remember the chow chow. Oh, no, I'm chilling. I have another doggy now. Oh, well, you got two? I got an Akita. But don't pet him, all right? Cause no, you might get don't bit. pet him. Right? He don't like to be touched. That's no, what yeah. I keep going. He knows. All right. So, yo, you know, last time I interviewed you, I think you was on Mercury. You know what I'm saying? This sure maybe was. two years ago. Sure you know what I'm saying? What's been going on since from Mercury until now? You know what I'm saying? What, like, what have you been going through? Like, what happened with the first album? Is it going to be released? Well, what happened was the first album I did kind of got lost in some craziness, man. Okay. The president got fired. A whole bunch of staff 
changes and the label just went crazy. And then I heard that they were going to completely drop their urban department. So I begged for a release and they gave it to me. And I just got myself back together, started writing my own stuff, coming up with more original material. And now I'm here at Ola and I'm sure and I'm happy. Yo, I was really feeling that first one. I think it was like, don't go away or something. Baby, don't go away. The first one. with the new video, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to see her around. She's going to be performing. Oh, 